hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today I have this look that I've done it's the black smoky eye very natural very classic very beautiful it's always nice to do this look and you can use it for a night out of course uh, or an evening party anything that you like I just love doing this look it's one of my faves so this is the look so I hope you like this video do give it a thumbs up let's get into the video and I did a really really glowy base uh, it's not showing it that much but I really like how the highlighter turned out of course it's the color pop so let's end the video so first I'm gonna start by using the glam glow glow starter primer all over my face this gives such a lovely glow then I'm gonna be using the Dior face and body foundation all over my face this is a really light foundation and if you don't need much coverage and just need a little bit of tint on your skin this is the perfect foundation I really like how it looks on my skin and it also dries matte so super 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 love 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 this one concealer i'm going to be using the tarte shape tape i love this concealer it really covers up all my dark circles and i recommend this one i'm just going to blend this with a damp beauty blender For powder, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier and I'm going to use this in the shade Translucent. I'm going to use this under my eyes to set my concealer and I'm also going to put it in places that I need to set. Let's use a brush to dust off the excess because you don't want it to look cakey. Now for the eyes, I'm going to be using this Nykaa Gel Eyeliner. Using the brush provided, I'm just going to put a very thin line over my lash line. And don't worry if it gets thick, it doesn't have to be perfect. You have to do it in a messy way because I'm going to be blending it with a brush till I feel that it's blended well. You just need a really deep pigmented eyeliner for the base of your eyeshadow. Using the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions Eye Palette, I'm going to use this brown taupey shade in my crease, blending out the edges of the black eyeliner that I just applied. Take your time to blend the crease because you really need a nice blended crease so that it doesn't look very prominent and it looks very gradient. So I'm going to take my time blending it. a darker brown shade from the same palette i'm just gonna darken the crease a bit again blend 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 till you feel that it's really nice and gradient you really need a lot of blending in this makeup tutorial because if you want this eye look to look good you have to blend the brown the black have to look really really nice and blended Now taking the black eyeshadow from the same palette, I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush and packing this black color all over my lid. Keep packing till you feel that the color is the desired amount. And once I finish packing that color on my lid, I'm going to use a fluffy blending brush and blend it well. finish blending the upper lid I'm going to use it on the lower lash line the same brown colors that I use on my crease 
and I'm gonna blend well. Also, I'll use a little bit of black just to deepen the lower lash line. Now, just using a highlighter in the inner corners to get that pop of color in my inner corners. Using the Physicians Butter Bronzer, I'm gonna bronze my face. I don't really remember what blush I used, but I'll mention it in the description box below. Use any pink or peachy blush. Star of the show, this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Eye Highlighter. I really love how ending it is. My kind of highlighter. And after the lips, I'm using the Nykaa Puff Lippy. I really like this color on my skin. The shade will be mentioned in the description box below. And to top it off, I'm going to be using the Patrick Ta Lip Gloss in the shade She's an Influencer. So guys, this is the final look. So I hope you like this video. Do give it a thumbs up. See ya!